And also I am uh, telling one more thing because uh, regarding Ajari Kribalani, when he was uh, responding to the Hindu civil code issue, finally Ajari Kribalani came, came to a conclusion in, in uh, agreeing for that in the uh, Constituent Assembly or in the, at that time it was Parliament also. So he said that I am supporting with so many objections because of the compulsion of my wife. Which way it is noted, not in the Constituent Assembly debate I am quoting in the EPW editorial, it says, I am under the compulsion of my wife, the humor, he says, that I am supporting the law. This shall be a kind of a uh, guideline for somebody who is engaging with the discussion, take into consideration the, what the woman wants to say on it. And also the triple talak issue, I don't think that triple talak issue is equal to uh, reform versus law debate, that is a dangerous equation. I don't think that that equation is valid, but within the, is the Muslim community also, Salafi Ghana, we may not have any uh, agreement on whether triple talak should happen or not. So these types of individual differences are also to be taken into account when we are discussing the topic. And the, uh, the question comes up like this, because that is what Flavia Agnes also asked, because uh, can the fundamental rights be the, the uh, ground against which all personal laws or all personal uh, laws can be verified, or whether the religion again will come to say that it has a different understanding of fundamental right and it needs the authority to define it. Nobody else should define it. That's where the uh, game of politics shows that the uh, situation is very tense, and in such a condition, it is very difficult to have a kind of very open form of dialogue. This is the general problem that happens. Sometimes the state wants to justify it. State may be uh, in need of justifying it in terms of fundamental rights, but the government's track record on keeping fundamental rights is not very safe. For example, the people do not have any big trust on what the government says. If it wants to implement this kind of reforms, etc., to safeguard fundamental rights, that is the legitimacy of the state itself is being challenged, or the legitimacy of the government. Or uh, political parties are being challenged and which way they can justify the demand for a uniform civil code on the basis of fundamental rights. With this I am anyway uh, concluding uh, my <coughs> speech and I am waiting uh, Professor <coughs> Faisal Musafa for a very uh, informing as well as thought provoking lecture to us and also as we heard some of us heard you in the uh, media conversations also and also from newspaper Indian Express also published an article written by you and in addition as well as on that also uh, many points we are waiting from you sir and waiting